Hey guys, Kickster12 here with the fourth episode of Bucket Made Easy with Kickster12. Now, in this episode, we'll be going through a permissions based plugin called Permissions X. This is a great plugin um, because it's, it's really simple to use. Um, it, it works with the latest version so far of Minecraft, even though it does say 1.2.5 release 4. Um, again, it's just simple. You can hook it up to My SQL, SQL Lite, all this kind of a thing. So basically, we'll get started with this, and all you need to do is download the version of Missions X or PEX that you would like. Um, now, even though again this does say 1.3.5 release 4, it works for 1.3.2, which is the latest version out. So basically, just click on this and hit the download button and download uh, your permissions uh, X WinRAR file or zipped file and I've already got it here in the uh, fault in my server folder here under plugins so basically we'll just open this up and you'll see three jar files in here one being the permissions X file another being modifier world and another being chat manager now these are pretty self-explanatory, you've got your permissions X jar and modifier world is basically if you don't have a plugin that um, works to modify your world, whether it be where, build it, where, where different players can build whether they can build it all, all this kind of a thing th then you might want to go for the modifier world jar um, other plugins that can do this are world edit and world guard World Guard, I think it is, where you can assign regions and all this kind of a thing. Now, the other one is Chat Manager, and it's pretty self explanatory too. It manages your chat the way you want your chat to look like, with the prefix of a player's name, the player's name, um, all this kind of a thing. So, it's pretty simple to use, but I'm just going to go through the permissions X file, so I just drag it into here and we'll start the server now let's run and you'll see permissions x is being extracted all this kind of stuff and it says done so we'll type stop as usual and open up the permissions x file now you should have two files in here config and permissions the config file you don't need to really touch um, backends is sort of like the mysql sort of a thing to um, uh, what permissions file you want, or that kind of thing. You can read up more about that. I don't really know much, too much about this, but what I do know is the permissions file, and this is what it should look like when you first start off. And it will have the modify world um, permission here, assuming that you, you're using their modify world jar file. Um, so I'll quickly run through this. You want to make sure that you have groups at the top of your um, page here, otherwise it won't know that whatever's below it is going to be a group. Um, the next is what your group uh, name w is going to be, and you should start with the default one. We'll make this, for instance, builder, and builder being the default um, plugin that we want in people to ha uh, the default permissions we want in people to have when they first uh, join a server. So again this is the default so whether you want these this set of permissions here whatever you put in builder to be the one that new players will automatically get um, so we're wanting this to be yes true because we are wanting this to be the first um, sort of permissions so we can re remove this modify world jar and to insert or to add permissions, you want to make sure you hit enter, backspace it back, and then space forward, and then you can put in a dash, and then space whatever permission that you want in to include. Whether it be if you have essentials, essentials dot afk for instance, um, essentials dot MSG or message, you know. So that's how you put in your permissions under the permissions uh, thing here. Now, 
Another neat thing that um, Permissions X can let you do, and I'm going to refer back to my MGC server permissions file here, is that you can include, we go to say up top here, uh, you can include a prefix. So we're going to copy this and we'll put this down at the end and you can make the prefix whatever you want, what colors you want, all this kind of thing. So we'll make it builder. Now quickly run through this. For your prefix you're wanting to have a space, then a talking mark, and then what color you want, and a being a gray color. And so the gray color is going to be referred to as what color you want the bracket to be. And then you'll see an and one. This and one is what you want the builder color to be. So when it comes up builder, what you want that color to be. And one is blue. Then after builder we've got and eight. So and eight is we want in the bracket to be gray again like the first one. And then and four being what color you want your Minecraft name to be. So obviously this will be set out as builder gigs to twelve. So gigs to twelve will be in red because we've got an and four afterwards. You can also add a suffix two if you want. Now I don't really know uh, many people that have a suffix because there's just no real need but again you do it in the same sort of format here. Um, if you're not wanting a suffix for some group but you are for others then just do two talking marks with nothing in, in the middle of them. That just tells uh, the permissions file that you don't want a suffix. Same with prefix. If you don't want a prefix then just remove this and have your two uh, talking marks. It's as simple as that. Now you might have also seen in the other file here inheritance. Now I'll run through inheritance in a second but we'll first go down and create another uh, group. So we'll copy this group here because it's just easier and we'll go to here and we'll put in the next group and we're going to call this the moderator group or mod and we're not wanting it to be true uh, we're not wanting it to be uh, the default group because we've already got a default group and you can't have more than two default groups because otherwise you'll get errors and stuff like this and we're wanting the moderators to have a different uh, set of commands because um, I'll explain to you why we're going to remove these so let's say we want moderators to be able to um, kill other players with a kill command. And we want moderators to have our TPA command. TPA set. I think that's right. Let me double check. Oh, TPA except no dot afterwards. It's okay. So we're just wanting, we'll just put this as two different commands that we're wanting the moderators to have. Now, the way the inheritance works is if we are to copy this, you put inheritance after the mod here. And what this is, is we'll put inheritance as builder and make sure it is case sensitive, like this, with capital B and so on. And this means that moderators will have these commands here essentials kill. Essentials TPA accept plus they'll inherit all the commands that Builder has. So they'll have AFK, MSG, and so on. Um, that saves you um, space and time having to rewrite um, under every group um, Essentials AFK, Essentials um, MSG, and so on. It just saves you having to do that. It'll just refer back to Builder and see what Builder permissions have and then include it in the moderator um, permissions. So that's what inheritance is, and it is a pretty neat and cool thing that Permissions X has. Um, and you can have it um, referring to multiple groups. It's, there's no real um, limit to whether you can only have one group referring to Builder and so on it's completely up to you. Now we'll get down to the users file and basically t it won't come as default but all you've got to do is go down 
thing you'll see users uh, I'm just going to copy this and all you want to do is hit enter again and put in users now anything below users will be um, what user is going to have what um, uh, permissions whether it be model builder and stuff like that so you want to keep your groups above users so then it groups refers to everything here and the minute it hits users it's going to refer to all the users so basically to set up a user you have gigs to 12 uh, making sure it is in line and all this kind of crap um, and then you want to have the group they're going to be in so obviously you won't have to do this for every player because it will automatically refer, refer to them as the builder default group if you want a player to be a moderator and admin then you do have to create a group here and we'll say X to 12 will be a mod and options is basically whether they will also if you don't have the um, inheritance options is the um, option whether they can use uh, another set of permissions that you've set up so I'll just say we'll move this and so we've got gigs to 12 set up to be in moderator and say if we'll create another player and we'll call this we'll make this XTC so we'll XTC and we want XTC to be in the group um, moderator 2 so we go back dash it is painstaking and annoying that you have to go back but do it because sometimes it may not work for some odd reason um, and we'll make options and group and we won't have a group an option group so there's another player set up to be in the group uh, moderator or mod now you'd also want to change this to mod so we'll do that now and say if you want it to be yellow the moderator's name and seven I'm pretty sure is yellow let's double check that no and six is I knew it was and six or seven it was one of those and we want to keep the brackets the same color and so on and yeah moderator can have red we'll make it a lighter red for instance as their name so that's the permissions file set up there and it's really simple and really easy to use so let's go on and let's test this out so let's save this and close and we'll go back and start the server and I'm going to start Minecraft and it's good that we didn't get any errors which means we set it up correctly let's load, come on now Let's open up this and gigs to 12 join the game. So sorry about that guys, I just worked out that this wasn't going to work um, with the prefix suffix thing, um, simply because I didn't have a plugin to enable the, the prefix and suffix to be shown in the message. Because what happens is Minecraft is defaultly set up to show just your Minecraft name and the message you write. Um, so that's why Chat Manager was included in Permissions X, um, is because it is to set up the prefix player suffix message. Now I did include this and F, which is white, so that when we do have in this and C, it won't continue on to be the player's name and their message to be in um, red too we want the message to be different um, in a different color so and if I included there it's pretty simple and easy to set up just make sure this is enabled as true um, now I do know essentials um, does this uh, also that's why I got a bit confused because I'm I normally have essentials doing this and that's why I don't have chat manager installed 
so if I go back and start the server again and we'll open up Minecraft let's join and as you should see that Gigs of 12 has joined the game if I was to type in hello we have a mod with brackets being grey my name gigs to 12 and hello um, it's pretty simple and easy to set up I should also have the kill gigs to 12 and I died so um, we'll go back and we'll change my we'll change gigs to 12 to uh, a builder and we'll see that nothing should come up now so I'm pretty sure that you won't need to uh, stop the server you'll just go into here permissions x permissions and make me in the group builder and save make sure you save and close this because sometimes it it glitches up if you don't save and close it and we'll reload the server and join and let's type in hello oops builder gigs to 12 hello and now if I was to type slash kill gigs to 12 I killed myself let's make sure that okay so I can't de op myself let's make sure I'm not an op Hmm, I can kill myself for some reason. Oh, I know exactly why I can't kill myself. It's because we are running essentials. Ooh, go away, go away. No, thank you. Ah, uh, yes. So good, I'm not up. I cannot place blocks within the spawn radius. So, I understand now that if we go into here, I don't have it, I've made it so essentials, uh, kill and TPA accept and all this kind of a thing is what's running these permissions but I don't have any essentials installed on here so if I was to do it install essentials then that would work so it, it's it's obviously referring to um, bucket permissions and saying that I can kill players the minute you install essentials essentials will take over the kill it will take over all that kind of a uh, commands that Essentials has so we'll go to this one and we'll see it will take over all the commands AFK, clear inventory, help, all this kind of a thing and these permissions should work so sorry about that small confusion there I was a little confused myself until I worked it out so that's it for this episode and I reckon we'll wrap it up here killing this stupid spider Oh, I want to have a go at me. Wow, die. Thank you. So we'll wrap this up here. And that is Permissions XP. If you've got any questions or um, other plugin videos that you would like me to uh, show you guys, um, then please message through. Um, also, check out some of our other videos. And make sure you like and subscribe this video. Thanks very much, guys. And see you later. Permissions uh, X. WinRAR file or zipped file and I've already got it here in the uh, fault in my server folder here under plugins so basically we'll just open this up and you'll see three jar files in here one being the permissions X file another being modify world and another being chat manager now these are pretty self-explanatory you've got your permissions X jar and modify world is basically if you don't have a plugin that um, works to modify your world, whether it be where build it, where where different players can build, whether they can build it all, all this kind of a thing, th then you might want to go for the modify world jar. Um, other plugins that can do this are world edit and world guard, world guard I think it is, where you can assign regions and all this kind of a thing. 
Now the other one is Chat Manager, and it's pretty self-explanatory too. It manages your chat the way you want your chat to look like. With the pre simple, you can hook it up to My SQL, SQL Lite, all this kind of a thing. So basically, we'll get started with this, and all you need to do is download the version of Missions X or PEX that you would like. Um, now, even though again this does say 1.3.5 release 4, it works for 1.3.2, which is the latest version out. So basically, just click on this and hit the download button and download uh, your prefix of a player's name, the player's name, um, all this kind of a thing. So it's pretty simple to use, but I'm just going to go through the permissions X file, so I just drag it into here. And we'll start the server now. Let's run, and you'll see permissions X is being extracted, all this kind of stuff, and it says done, so we'll type stop as usual. And open up the permissions X file. Now you should have two files in here config and permissions. Hey guys, Kickster12 here with the fourth episode of Bucket Made Easy with Kickster12. Now, in this episode, we'll be going through a permissions based plugin called Permissions X. This is a great plugin um, because it's, it's really simple to use. Um, it, it works with the latest versions so far of Minecraft, even though it does say 1.2.5 release 4. Um, again, it's just 